Hello and welcome to Indie Road. We are here in the Arca series on Monday night. Emphasis on night. I just got back from visiting family for 4th of July, even though it was 3rd of July. But we don't worry about the details with that. <laughs> we are uh, here quite late and surprised to find Gavin is actually in this race. He's on work holiday, so that's why he has uh, explained why he's here so late. So this ought to be interesting. Single split late night race. 1.0k strength of field according to Race Lab. And uh, someone in here has 0.0k I rating, also according to Race Lab. Which is a little frightening. You would assume they're probably intentionally lowering their I rating or something. But who knows? They're rookie license, and there's a couple rookies in here as well. You, of course, uh, don't need a road license of whatever, I guess it would be D-Class in ARCA. You don't actually need that to participate in this race. It's by oval license. Fun fact. So we've got literal road racing rookies in here. And uh, I don't know. Maybe that's what I'll look like anyway. Because not too much experience on any road course. Did get uh, as much practice as I could in the open practice, the 30 minutes and whatnot. Just easing around here for the outlap so I don't light up the rear tires or anything. So hopefully we can get ourselves a good run. But uh, I'm leaving a lot of speed on the table. I think my, uh, my goal here is just to keep the car stable and maybe get ourselves, you know, a decent finish. We're the number one car, but I don't uh, expect anything out of this. Would love to just finish in one piece. I think I'd be satisfied with that. And uh, we will head to the line here for qualifying. Would be nice to get a nice safe start near the front if possible. But again, we'll see what happens. All right. Let's keep it steady. That is the goal. Yeah, good job. I already failed. Nice. All right. Keep it steady, I say, spinning out the moment I say it. Good job. Maybe I should stop saying it and start doing it. That's all right. We will uh, finish off this lap, and hopefully... We're not going to be able to finish this lap. We don't have enough time. We're going to start in the back, I guess. This is already going poorly. <laughs> I mean, I just have to get off the track now. I, can't, I don't have enough time to finish this. That's cool. Gonna be interesting. <laughs> oh boy. Well, Gavin presumably still out there. He has qualified well and uh, actually qualified. <laughs> oh boy. Well, we're going to be at the front of the guys that didn't qualify or didn't get a lap in, so... Still qualified decent, I guess. Still top half of the field. Do I have... I actually... You know what? That's probably what hurt me. I forgot to freaking change my steering ratio, so no wonder it wasn't as responsive as I felt. <laughs> he gives us a good luck. We're going to need it. What times did they run? 133s? My best was 134, so I'm between second and third, I think, on best time, just based on that. But 
Who knows how consistent I'll be able to do that. <laughs> Kevin's got some fanboys in this race, I guess. Hyped to be in the race with him. <laughs> 12 laps here, so... Probably about a half hour race. This is going to be interesting in a lot of ways, I think. <laughs> yeah, all right. Will do. <laughs> <laughs> what an honor to race with Gavin. It's true. <laughs> oh boy, this is... I don't think we're going to survive. Um, again, single split, very late night race. Probably a huge wild card. This is probably going to look like some of the best of the best Arca Break Weekly exhibitions, if I had to guess. But, you know, sometimes I'm surprised. Sometimes I'm surprised by these races, but, you know, we'll see. At least I feel like if people are going to be crashing and stuff, they'll be off the course, I imagine. You would you kind of think. I mean, there might be people slamming into the back of us and stuff. <laughs> We're going to avoid doing any, like... Uh, quick slowdowns or anything during pace laps. You never know if the guy behind is going to be able to pay attention enough and not run to the back of you. Even the uh, pace laps can be an adventure on, on road sometimes. So Everyone in here is so happy to be racing with Gavin, including me. He's got lots of fans. <laughs> he skips up good luck. So, uh, I put myself in a bit of a dangerous spot right here in the middle of the field. Hopefully guys behind will be patient enough or, you know, we could just let them by maybe. Who knows? I'm going to have to be patient. Because there might be guys that might not enter a corner as quickly as I expect them to and all that. I'm pretty slow down here. I don't know why we're checking up so much. Backstretch. So we're figuring it out. Maybe I can get the brakes warmed up or whatever. Get that squeak out of it. Is that a thing in this car? I don't know. I give lots of room out here. The cat is opening the door, even though he already has food. He has learned to open the closet door where the food is stored. Thankfully, he cannot get to the food. But uh, we are improving the intelligence of cats everywhere here in our household. I figure he would probably be able to solve in a, a complex math equation in order to get to that food. Because he loves his food. That's for sure. Beak it out of there. Hey. He's not going to listen to me. Oh well, he knows we're trapped for 12 laps in about half an hour, so he's going to run wild. Maybe he'll figure out how to get to the food, I hope not. Let's get caught up. Pace car's off. So the leader can go at any time at this point. I think he's going right now, but I don't think the field is so interested, I guess. Are we going to get a black flag? Hope not. I guess we're okay. Shoot, man. Why are we going so slow? 
Sorry about that. Why are you sticking your nose there? That is so dumb. Oh my god. Okay, we're good. Jesus, man. I really don't want to be too wide through here. I really got to get past this nine. He is slowing up the whole thing here. Okay. Whew. I feel bad at getting into him a little bit, but thankfully he kept it going. He was just really, really slow. I think the guy in front of him was slow into turn one, to be fair. Glad that didn't hurt anything. Uh oh, someone got sideways. I think. I think they're okay though. We lost a whole lot of time waiting for that guy, but it's my fault for not qualifying, for failing in qualifying. I'm about to see you on the side of this YouTube video. Yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> this person really slow through there. Let's get oh, he's gonna s contact. I'm gonna have to check up for so much. I did set myself such a disservice by not. By not being able to qualify, that guy is just torpedoing the corner. Glad I saw that in my mirror. That was terrible. Alright, well, we survived that. I'm glad I saw it coming. Person way off in the grass. So I'm gonna catch up to him, it looks like. Try not to spin my rear tires too much. Kind of ease my way through here. Alright. Seems like we got a little bit of room, at least behind us now. Maybe we can hit some laps the way I want. I really slow into here. I don't want to run into the back of anyone again. Kevin up in third, I think I saw. That's pretty good. Why oh, isn't the cat walking under me? Wow, you are being a real nuisance this race, my friend. <laughs> okay. Pushes through there a little harder than I do. I definitely underdrive pretty much all of the corners, to be fair. Like I said, I'm kind of just easing through, trying to make sure I stay on track. The guys ahead are gone, including Gavin, because we lost so much time uh, being behind people at the start. Almost cut the inside a little too much there. We're good. I like to shift early here because the car likes to get really rear end happy through this part. Fastest lap of the race. That's good to hear.
Mm. Can't go too fast. Run on the back of this guy. Don't necessarily want to dive it. He's taking a defensive line. But all that. It's much better through the exit of that corner. I think I can learn something from that, maybe. Blue Chief being a bad influence again. Uh-oh, we got something going on up ahead. I think it's lap traffic, though. All right. Lap traffic. I think that's the 0.0, .0 I rating guy. I don't know why he's sitting on the apex, this guy. Lots of, like, literal rookies, though, like I said, in this race, so you can't really expect them to know what's up. That's okay. God, he's so freaking slow through there, man. It's an entry. It's making me lock my tires up. Good. Top five. Got to be happy with what we got here. Trying to do a little bit of what he's doing there. Kind of letting off the brakes earlier than I have been. That definitely felt better. Jasper, you have food. Stop asking for food. I'm busy racing right now. Cat going at it again. Oh, he's going off. I don't know what he's doing. Be careful. All right. Weird way to pass him there, but I think that works. Fourth position. Can we pull away from guys behind at all? Let's see. All right, get some space there. Gavin is basically unreachable unless he makes a mistake. But again, that's all on me. It's my fault for uh, messing up qualifying. Trying to, what did I say, keep the car stable? Yeah, I did a great job of that. Something happened up there. That's the guy in second talking. What happened? That number five is pretty fast. I gotta work hard if I want to keep him back there, I think. Okay, easy now. Don't get in the grass. Not too much throttle anywhere. Don't pitch this thing sideways. That's not going to help anything.
pretty fun. I'm having a good time, even though I don't feel like I'm very fast. Pretty fun to just drive. I think I'm doing okay. Keeping the uh, rear tires on it, you know, for the most part. Lots of throttle control going into it here to make sure I'm not crashing. I'm much slower than the guy behind in this section, I think. Definitely a lot of speed I could be gaining elsewhere. Five to go. That's a long time on a road course, though. Okay, I feel like I hit that all right. Guy behind did too, though. Probably better than me, actually. The left side's on the curb a little bit. We're, we're okay, though. He's kind of out there on his own, I think. He's got some lap traffic to deal with, though. Sounds like he's really dealing with it. Something happened here. Not sure what we're about to see around the corner. Let's cut that inside too far again. Thankfully, we can get past these guys without too much trouble. I've actually caught Gavin quite a bit. So much speed, I think, could be gained if I were just a little more confident, a little more aggressive on a lot of the entries. But the thing is, I'm not. I'm not confident on these entries. And I feel like if I get overconfident without uh, really doing some more practice, learning where I can push harder, I'm just going to end up crashing myself. So. Hey, that gap to lemons, <laughs> as my uh, crew chief put it, getting smaller. We'll see if we can put the pressure on them before the end of this thing. That'd be fun. Give him something to think about. Getting the hang of it too, kind of getting into the rhythm a little bit more. I mean, uh, this is just another form of practice, really being out here on track, so I guess this is the practice I was talking about needing. They're all right. Trying to hit my marks and be consistent, not let the uh, rear end come out from under me. Got some room behind again. That's nice and comforting. Appreciate that I could see that, I think it was the five, was it the five? I can't remember who it was. The guy that uh, was exiting that one corner much better. I'm kind of glad I got to see that because I learned that I could do a little bit better through there. I'm sure there's a ton of corners I could do much better, but 
that was something specifically. I'm like, okay, yeah, I can get off the brakes a little earlier here and make some time up. I think there's a couple spots I could probably do that on track, but again, I don't want to experiment too much while actually in race conditions. Save that for practice. Two more. We're getting closer to Gavin, but we don't have enough time, I don't think. Again, we would need a mistake from him. With those left sides, got a little closer to the grass. Something happened to the 11, it sounds like. Gavin does have to get past some lap traffic. That could be trouble. I think he did it, though, already. Now we're going to have to do it. Easy now, almost overdrove it. Hold on to it though. I'm so close to going off track every time that lap. Or every time at uh, that part, at uh, that turn. Oh, that was a terrible way to go through there. I don't know what I was doing. I have to watch out for these guys, they're battling for position. Oh, Jesus, don't correct it into me. Thank you. Really had to keep an eye on that. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my goodness. Lost a ton of time trying to get through past him there. It's not like I was going to catch Gavin anyway, but lost a ton of time. Oh, don't overdrive it. I got it slowed down. All right, I think we're going to survive. We'll seize it around the final corner. No reason, to, no reason to push it anymore. We'll get it there, P4. Lost so much time by failing to qualify. But we'll still get a decent finish. P4. An estimated loss of 4 I rating, so... I'll take it. Nice run up through the field. Uh, yeah, it was so good with the C we both survived. We'll see if he got 0x. Could have uh, had a off check or two. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we were able to move forward. That's good. Five spots from where we started. Really, uh, custom checkups and stuff. Is the nine still here?
Initial starts redundant. Ah, uh, he left. Dang it. Well, apologies to him. Accidentally uh, got into him a little bit. Hey, Gavin and I. The only ones in the race that actually raced <laughs> that did not get any incidents. That's cool. Of course, the fast guy's probably just getting some off tracks, pushing it to the limits, but. Alright. We'll see uh, what it looked like here. See some of the things that happened. I'm sure we got some goofy stuff going on. Very weird start. People were like not going at all. 13 didn't go at all. Fifteen. Not yeah. sure why we're seeing this. Why are we seeing the pace car? Oh, it's because this is like technically backwards on the uh, oval here. Because Indianapolis, obviously, they run the other direction on this front straight. So anytime anyone's going to be there, we're going to see that. So it's going to be hard to do incidents, I think. That is very much an incident, though. The 20 just messes that up a bit. The 2 eventually uh, wins the race. What's Gavin doing here? Oh, we're on the oval again. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do incidents. That's too bad. I guess we can look at me uh, getting to the back of the guy at the start. I just barely kind of was tapping the back of him just because... You know, I, I'm entering the first corner expecting them to be, you know, checking up a whole bunch. But that was even more than really I was ready for. I hit my normal braking marker in this, like, if you see there, he, like, locks it up. Really glad I didn't turn him. I'm not sure why he, like, slammed on the brakes so hard there. In order to uh, turn, he had room in front of him. From my view, I thought he was like he had someone directly in front of him, so he couldn't. He had to like slam on the brakes, and uh, it w obviously, I, you know, it would have been kind of on me for not leaving enough room. But I don't know why he slammed on the brakes and locked him up. I mean, it must have been just an accident. I tapped his right rear, but it actually turns him in the direction of the corner, so he's able to catch it. I'm glad he did. Would have felt really bad about that, and uh, no incident through that. So. Hey, I guess uh, we'll continue on and see what kind of more this looked like. Ending up uh, side by side in places I don't want to be. Losing a ton of time trying to get this sorted out. And I uh, kind of stuck behind the nine a little bit. But finally get around him right there. Just had to be patient. Pushing too hard and trying to be too aggressive. Easily could have caused a wreck. So even though I lost a ton of time, it's better than just running him over or something. Like I almost did anyway. Oh yeah, and then this guy, that was very close. I think I slightly tapped him here too. You can see I, oh, I really had to avoid him. I see him spinning right there. And my car's pointed to the right, but I have to be like evasive maneuver to the left. Just barely able to move around him. Just more time being lost. And then that guy, Bonsai Bill over here. He just completely misses the braking zone. I saw him there, so you'll see I stay to the right much longer. I'm not turning in at all because I'm like, I'm going to let this unfold. And unfortunately, it's five. Just completely in his path. Just a mistake. Just a missed braking zone, I think. But uh, we're able to avoid the trouble. I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. How did these guys get here? Got another rear ending. 15 finds the 14. Looks like he kind of felt bad about that. He kind of stops for a second. Yeah, but unfortunately you're not going to be able to see the incidents. But uh, we still saw plenty of action, I think. We'll get P4 after messing up qualifying. I'll definitely take it. 0x. Keep at our uh, A4.9 road safety rating. I'm happy that... Uh, have that there. Cool to race with Gavin as always. Didn't expect to see him here past midnight. So that was fun. And uh, that'll do it here for Indy Road. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, I will see you next time.